All right, guys. I'm in a race against daylight, so we're gonna try to run the rigger. We're try. We're gonna try to run three separate packs: the HP, the HV, both in 3S, and a 4S high voltage pack. Now, I have three different props. I'm gonna try. Probably I'm gonna try a, a bigger prop on 3S just to see if it'll spin it. Um, but I got this from Offshore Electrics. This is a little 3814. I'm just curious to see what it'll do um, as far as speed is concerned uh, against my uh, other prop, which was this one here. This is the 3816 little China prop. I want to see what this one will do just in comparison. So we're going to run this on, I don't know yet. I might run it on this pack. It'll probably keep the temps down a little bit better. Got the GPS zeroed out. I'm going to go ahead and stick it inside the hole. We're going to get this thing all taped up. Now we're going to be trying something a little bit different with today with the rigger uh, versus the past few videos. I decided to make this new turn fin right here at work today. Now it's nothing spectacular, nothing to write home about. I know nothing about turn fins, but this one's got a lot less angle and it's a lot less depth in the water. I also sharpened this side of it rather than the inside of it. Don't know if that really makes a difference, but we're going to give it a whirl. Now this is the 3S high voltage pack. Wow, what a crazy difference. Huh. I'm having to compensate with steering like crazy. It's got to be that prop doesn't like it. A low pitch prop. All it does is want to hop. All it wants to do is hop. Huh. Yeah, she's crazy. All right, let's try a different prop. Let's try a prop we know that works. Back to the old trusty 3816, because I know this one works. I'll see if the, cr the craziness of the handling is all due to the turn fin that I created that's different. Yeah, it's not deep enough. That's what I would assume, it's just not deep enough. And maybe when I picked it up out of the water, I had a lot of grass on it, and it may be picking up grass out of this pond. That's what it may be doing. Every time I picked up my other boat, I had grass on it. All right, let's do a rip and see what it does. Oh yeah, I don't have much reception with this radio. I've yet to run this thing a long distance because the antenna on the boat just doesn't stick out very far. That's all I get, about 200 feet. Okay, so I need to sit right here in the middle. That's it. That's it. Okay. Well, we'll bring it in and we'll see what the uh, what the speed was. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. No smoke. That's a good sign. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven on the high voltage pack. Not bad. I think I got fifty-eight on it on my pond. So that's not terrible. Let's see what the temps are. 130. Okay. ESC, I'm going to assume 140. Woo! Yeah, 150. Oh, that was... Yeah, that was the EC3 connector. Yeah, she's hot. Okay. 
Yeah, when I go to 4S, I can't rip it like this. All right, now, since we're running short on daylight and I'm not really spectacular feeling about my turn fin, I may need to drill some holes and lower it based off of where those are. I'm gonna go ahead and run it on 4S just to see what it does top speed wise with the 3816 on it. I don't really wanna go to a different prop until I see what this prop can do on the 4S and make sure that the motor can actually handle it. Cause that's a 4480 KV, which is like 11.5 volt motor, which is kind of all it can get on a 3S. So it shouldn't really take 4S, but we're gonna go do one full rip on it and bring it back in, see what the speed is. Now, just in case you're curious, yes, you can fit a 4S pack in the front of that boat. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit enter. And it's zeroed out, I believe. And we're gonna go ahead and pop this in there. All right, first time ever shrimp outrigger on 4S. Let's get it. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I swear it's got grass on it. That was quick. That was really quick. Oh my God. All right, I need to let it cool down. I swear I went over here and I hit grass. I can see the grass. I don't know if y'all can see it on film. Um, there's like patches now that the water's kind of disturbed. See, there's a patch right there in the middle. And then there's another patch right there in the middle. And then another one right there in the middle. They're just everywhere. Okay. Try one more quick rip. That was insane, dude. All right, I don't want to exhaust the battery, nor do I want to burn up the motor. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring it in. Yeah, look. Look right there on the turn fin. See the grass on the turn fin? Ah, right here in my hand. Yep. She's dragging. I knew she was dragging it. You can feel it. Oh, look at that. Look at all of it on the rudder. Look at it all. Yep. I knew it when it hit it. You could, I could like tell the overall speed went down. Yep. Jesus. Well, I guess we're just going to have to give the pond some time to where uh, the grass will sink to the bottom, I guess. Because that's just, you know, neither here nor there, but nothing we can really do about it. Nothing we can do about it. As long as we, you know, we got permission to be out here, so can't complain too much about it. Jesus, yeah, see, this is what I pulled off of it last time when it came in. It's the same stuff. It's the same stuff. All right, let's open it up and see what kind of speed we got. Because I'm kind of curious. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if there's smoke. No smoke. That's great. Let's just do a quick check on the EC3. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Wow, it runs cooler. It runs cooler on 4S. What in the world? What in the world? Okay, let's go ahead and pull this connector out of here. Pull the GPS out. 68 miles an hour, baby. 68 miles an hour. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. And we was towing some grass. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to check to see what my voltage is on that pack to see if I can run it again. I've got 4.04, 4.05, so I think I can still run it again, and we'll just see what happens. All right, GPS was reset. We're still running the 4S pack because it's got a little bit of juice less and we're left, and we're going to run a big old fat ABC prop. I've already checked. It clears the rudder, so we should be good. All right, let's be crazy.
Yeah, it didn't work. Too big of a prop. It's either too big of a prop or I hooked grass again. I don't really know. Cause it's it's crazy off the rip. Yeah. All right, let's not go too nuts with it. That is quite a big prop. Okay, probably got amp cut right there. Okay, let's see if there's any grass on it. Yep, there it is. It's floating. That's what it was telling. Not doing me any good. Not doing me any good. Yikes. Well... You win some, you lose some, I guess. It is what it is. Can't get no speed when you're dealing with grass and water. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Moment of truth. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, motor, motor's hot, boy. Motor's hot. <laughs> okay. Not bad. I think that might have been the wires. Because I'm directly on the motor right there. Yeah. The wires are probably what's hot. Yeah. Let's see what the EC3 is. Scalding hot, probably. Battery. 129. Okay. Let's just see what this ABC prop did as for speed. Even though we know we're not really getting anything good out here because of the damn grass. Fingers are wet. Yeah, 55, yeah. It was slower, I could tell. Okay. Well, we live to fight another day, I guess. Let's go ahead and turn that off. All right. Well, we ran it on 4S. 68 miles an hour is not bad for a little 38 mil prop. I think next time what I'll do is I have this little... Um, brass prop it's a 4016 i think i might try it or i i think i have a 40 millimeter um cnc prop i think the light weight of these props actually helps this motor in this boat this whole thing because it's a lightweight prop but i actually have the 40 mil prop on my recoil too right now i thought about taking it off but i had every intention of running this 1619 but it's just not conducive to the conditions you know hell we got 68 with the smaller prop so i don't think this motor either can't handle it or it can i need a better turn fin and i need to stop hooking up grass i mean the grass is just a pain in the butt but what can you do now just for the record this was the 4s pack that i ran and that's our ending voltage so i think we're pretty much good to go on that this boat runs really well on that. So the 24, 22s, anybody who's curious, definitely get you one because they work great. Maybe the 4,000 kV motor would help, but I've got something special coming for this thing soon. We'll see. They said it's going to take four weeks, so who knows? Who knows? But we're going to go ahead and end the video here. I didn't get a chance to run the other HP pack, but I'm running out of daylight, so I've got to wrap things up. So thank y'all for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and we'll see y'all out here next time. Peace.